How's everybody doing today? You should have stayed out there for the ice bucket challenge, man. That was um, really good that our team had enough interest to, you know, want to do that, uh, to create awareness for ALS. Um, I'm sure most of you uh, have seen the ESPN deal, um, and I'm, I'm really excited that so many people have taken such an interest in this, and it's raised quite a bit of money uh, and awareness to um, maybe affect this disease that will affect a lot of people, including our Kevin Turner, who um, was a great player here and a great player in the NFL. Um, so, and uh, we'll certainly make do our share in making a contribution to, you know, help that cause. From a team standpoint, um, I would say, you know, my, my take from the scrimmage is, is, you know, we have a lot of potential, um, but. You know, lots of people have potential. It's sort of what we do with it. Uh, who's willing to go live and do the things that they not need to do to, um, you know, live the words. You know, everybody says they're all in, but they got to go live it every day. And, you know, we'll see how we do that. And we really won't know that until we go through, you know, a big part of the season to see what kind of consistency that we can play with. But we need unity. Right? We need togetherness. We need everybody to do their job. And looking at the scrimmage, you know, there's too many plays where 10 guys do what they're supposed to do very well. One guy doesn't. And it, it affects our ability to uh, be able to have success on that play. So, um, you know, whether it's a penalty, whether it's a missed call, whether it's a mental error, um, a missed tackle, a busted coverage, whatever it is, you know, we need to eliminate those things so that, you know, we can play error-free football and let the other team try to beat us uh, with the players that they have rather than our lack of execution. Um, so, you know, I think you got to take advantage of the opportunity when the opportunity exists. And certainly, you know, we've worked all year long for this season, which is, you know, ready to come up here. And, you know, this is kind of our last week to have an opportunity to improve on some fundamental things and get better, uh, which I saw progress being made today, you know, in every area. And then, you know, we're still going to work on opponents and, you know, probably later in the week, you know, we'll start working on, on West Virginia. So um, I, I don't really think that, um, you know, I think you guys have been around here long enough that I think you can practice too long for a game. Um, so, you know, there's things that we work on every day that are things that we don't see. Uh, you know, they play a different defense, so, you know, we need to look at that a little bit, 3-3 three, three stack, you know, with our offense. And um, they're obviously a speedball team that spreads you out and throws a lot of bubble screens and, you know, makes you defend 53 yards wide and lots of vertical routes, too. So um, we, we, we've got a, a lot of things to work on. Uh, but we're working on the front end of our schedule now from Florida on up. So, you know, that's really, you know, what, what our focus is. I've got two. First, um, I, I guess you went through the challenge as well. Did they do a better job with the bucket than they did in Pasadena? Oh, yeah. We had them throw it off the porch so nobody could get hit in the head. <laughs> but we had the whole team there, and they had about 15 buckets. and. It was good. That's why I changed shirts. It was good. You know, I challenged uh, my good friend, Senator Joe Manchin from uh, West Virginia, uh, who I grew up with, who's a U.S. Senator. Um, Mark Ingram, our only Heisman Trophy winner at Alabama. Um, Paul Feinbaum, who is, you know, one of your illustrious colleagues in the state of Alabama. And, um, you know, Will Muschamp told me nobody ever challenged him so um, he was a former assistant of mine and a good friend so we challenged him so those are our four people that we challenged today okay and, and my other one and just have to follow up from the scrimmage going into practice this week will you continue to handle the quarterbacks the same way as yeah we're doing the quarterbacks the same way um, you know it's a it's you know it's it's somebody has got to take the job you know one day one guy plays really well, and you say, well, that looks like that might be the, be it. And the next day, the other guy plays really well. And um, so, but I think the good news is, is we have two guys that I f would feel very comfortable uh, playing. Uh, so I think this competition has helped us develop, 
you know, uh, several players. And Alex Morris has actually had a really good fall camp, and uh, we feel like he's made a lot of progress as well. So um, we're kind of encouraged by what all three of those guys have done. Uh, but um, I would like to see somebody take the bull by the horns from a leadership standpoint and a consistency standpoint and, you know, win the job here, you know, sometime. But we're not going to make the decision until somebody does that. The left still, Michael. Just wonder, is there one thing, maybe the most important thing you learned about this team, just intangibles through the first two weeks through camp? Well, you know, I, I've I've liked you know everything about this team. Um, I saw some things in this last scrimmage that were very encouraging, uh, that reinforced all the things that I liked, you know, in the team, character, attitude, chemistry, effort, you know, sort of intangible type things that you look for. Uh, but I also saw some things that was disappointing, you know, especially when, you know, things didn't go well for a few of the guys, you know, instead of responding to the challenge and the adversity, you know, they, they kind of let it affect them. And, you know, that's never been a quality that we want on our team. I don't think you can compete in our league on the road with all the adversity that you have to overcome uh, and not have, you know, a stronger sense of purpose uh, to be able to focus and um, play with consistency. So that's some, something that some of our guys certainly need to work on. Front here, Mark. I want to ask about uh, Blake specifically. What improvements have you seen from him since the spring? Well, Blake's really improved, you know, first of all, his knowledge of the offense, um, capable of doing a lot more things, really improved as a passer. Um, and because he's improved as a passer, I think he's more confident. Uh, so he doesn't go what I call rat trap and start running around. I mean, he, he really has enough confidence to throw the ball on time and throw it to the right place and feel like he can make a, a completion and not have to do everything himself. Um, so I, I think those are probably the two areas that I think he's improved in the most. I know Trey DePriest has practiced, but he's been a, a bit limited. How far away is he from a conditioning standpoint to being back where he needs to be? And, and given the inexperience at middle linebacker, how important is he to this defense? Well, you know, he, he's, he practiced in the scrimmage and played in the scrimmage. And, um, you know, I, I don't think that you can, I don't know exactly how many days he missed, the week or 10 days or whatever. Uh, and then he wasn't full speed, but he's, he's pretty much full speed now. He was pretty much full speed on Saturday. Uh, we've been working with him on the condition, conditioning aspect. But I think when you reach this point of the season, uh, he's going to have to play himself in shape. You know, I told him today, I said, you're going to have to push yourself in practice like you never have before uh, because that's the only way that you're going to get in shape because, you know, you, you're not going to have camp to go back to. Um, you know, and I, 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 I think he'll do that. And uh, when we play these speedball teams, we might have to play, you know, more guys until we get them to that point. Last one, DC. I want to ask about the punting competition and if J.K. Scott has sort of separated himself from from any others. Yeah, he's separated himself. He's the best punter we have. I mean, I don't, have you seen him punt? Well, that one's an easy one. <laughs> Thanks, Coach. That's it? All right, you guys are easy today.